So microservices and APIs are just the same thing, right? Wrong. They are not the same thing. If you have microservices, you don't need APIs. Microservices are just a fancy way of saying APIs. Microservices are just web services, but finer grained. These explanations are the misconceptions of microservices and APIs. This video will help you understand the key differences between what a microservice is and what APIs are. So let's waste no more time, let's get to it. So what is an API? Well, first of all, API stands for Application Programming Interface. But what does that really mean? When we use any type of software, we use an interface to interact with it. That could be a web page, it could be a screen in an application, or even just a simple button that you press. However, people aren't the only ones who need to work with software. Software is used by other software applications which need a different type of interface. They need an interface that can interact with software programs. Hence, it needs an application programmable interface. An API is that interface that allows applications to talk to each other. Most of the APIs you'll hear about today in Mac architecture and headless architecture are web APIs. Web APIs are just another form of a programmable interface for web applications, but they are continually running when a web application is running as a form of a service, hence we often call them web services. Web services offer a simple way of connecting to, integrating and extending web-based software. And as I said, they're particularly used for extending distributed software systems like headless architectures and Mac architectures. Okay, that brings me to what is a microservice? Well, I've already done a video that goes into great depth into what a microservice is. And I'll leave the video link in the corner up here for you. Here in this video, I'll give you a brief summary just to help you understand and compare APIs and microservices. Microservices or microservices architecture is an architectural approach or an organizational approach for developing software where the functionality is broken down into smaller, manageable, decoupled pieces. A microservices architecture fosters the building of software using a collection of autonomous independent services that are very loosely coupled. You can think of microservices as components, as modules. They're basically self-contained services, but the key is that they communicate using an API or through an API. And the reason why they're gaining popularity is that they're very useful for breaking up the monolith or breaking up big siloed components into smaller manageable components. And these small components are more easily changed they're quicker to deploy, and they give your teams far more agility. So what are the differences between an API and a microservice? Well, here's a simple summary. APIs are interfaces for exposing the functionality inside of software components and applications, whereas microservices is really an architectural approach to software development. So let's compare the differences of how microservices and APIs are actually used. APIs provide a simple, reusable interface for integrating and extending applications. Whereas microservices in a microservices architecture is really used to solve big, complicated problems oriented around business capabilities. So one final note, while they are completely different things, microservices and APIs get paired together because microservices use APIs to communicate with each other and to communicate with other applications. A microservice can have an API, but an API is not a microservice. If you enjoyed this video and you want to see a lot more videos like this around APIs, headless architecture, Mac architecture and composable commerce, why not subscribe if you haven't already done so? And if you haven't done so already, don't forget to press the like button so this video can be shared to many others. If you're interested in watching any more videos on Mac architecture, headless architecture, anything about APIs, I'd recommend watching this playlist next. If not, have a look at this playlist that, uh, that YouTube has selected for you. But for now, it's time to say thank you, goodbye, and I'll see you next time.